George Washington came through here in 1790 on his southern tour. And there's a, a, me, I have battles with different people saying he came different ways to Greenville. But I have proof uh, there was a route that people took from diaries from 1780s and stuff. The route was to go across the river on what is Washington Street was where the ferry was. And go that way and go to Tarboro like you go now, you know, out and go, what's that, 33 years up to Tarboro. So um, everybody seemed to be going that way, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, all of a sudden, George Washington's come to Tarboro, and he's, people said, oh, he came through Falk, he came over somehow and came this way into Greenville. And when he wrote his diary, he called it an indifferent place. Man, it didn't look any different than anywhere else for him. But he wrote like two or three paragraphs on the waterfront, all the business and all the goods and all this and the tar and the turpentine. He had to have seen the river because he came and had lunch at a, an inn on what is now Cotan Street. After lunch, uh, he took off and went, what, 19 miles south down what is now County Home Road and stayed in another inn, which wasn't an inn, but he thought it was an inn and they didn't change his mind about it. But anyhow, uh, Shadrach Allen's in as he stayed down there. And um, and so he did eat and sleep in Pitt County, but my thing was him talking about the commerce and the tar and the turpentine on the river at that time. And if you're up here visiting people and having lunch, and he never mentioned walking to the river, and you know, different things he talked about going here and going there, he never mentioned that. So I believe he came over on the with his carriage they brought him over on a flat on Washington Street, and that's why it was named for him in the 1830s.